welcome to Unique Spirits, where I will be doing an energy read. So the first message that came to me <clears throat> was, it's right in front of you, look under something. Because when um, I was trying to sage the cards, <laughs> I was looking all over for my cards, and I was like, I was just shuffling them, where the hell are they? It was literally underneath the sage that was burning. It was right in front of me. It was exactly where I needed it to be, but I couldn't see it. So, might be relevant for someone. All right, we got quite a few cards. So, we have being in your head about working hard on something. You're passionate about wanting to come in and do this. But you know you have to defend yourself in order to do it. You also know this is going to take a very long time to get. This isn't going to be a fast one for you. So take energy as it resonates. There could be just one or two messages in here for you. Or it could be the whole story that resonates with you. This is about moving to calmer waters. So this situation tells me that it's about moving to calmer waters. But in order to move to calmer waters, you know this is going to take time, effort, hard work. You're going to have to defend your reasons, your decisions. This is not going to be an easy road for you. But think about it. What that is worth something is easy. Honestly, how exhausted can you get going after a goal if that's something you really wanted? Sorry, I got cat hair all over me. All right, so this is the Ten of Cups. That's emotional happiness. But it could be that someone's not feeling that right now. Because when I picked it up, it was upside down. Maybe that's what you've got to work hard towards is, what is your emotional happiness? Do you even know what that is? I mean, this is a great time to look at that kind of stuff. Reassess. What are your values? What are your, your wants, your desires? Who are you? And are your decisions for you or for somebody else? You are a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities. Through this deck, may you find a path to best fit yourself. That was one of the first cards that came out when I shuffled this deck. It was the first card that came out. And I fucking love that. And I love that. Like, And the way I found this deck was just... It was weird. Five of Cups. This is sadness, but it was reversed. That means you're coming out of it. I feel like you're seeing that, yes, it's going to take hard work to get where it is that you want to go, to get to your goals. It's not going to be one of your fast wins. And this may be something new for you. You've never maybe ever had to really work hard on a goal in this area of your life. And now you do. And it's taking you beyond limits that you've ever thought could ever happen in your mind, in your heart, in your soul. But as scary as it could be and as shitty as it could be, how amazing could it be as well, right? So take that in consideration. So this could have to do with a past situation. This could have to do with the past. It could have to do with a relationship. It could have to do... With a union, it could have to do with a teammate. It could have to do with someone that you care for. That maybe it has to do with working with this person. But the problem is, there's a lot of fucking options. There's possibly a lot of options on on both parties' ends. on the Because this is a two of cups, so we're talking about two people here. Maybe that is the problem, is the options. Maybe there's no focus towards one goal. Towards one, like, the two people are not going towards one 
goal. The problem is they both have all these different options, but they're not talking about what goal they want to get together. You know, you can have options and still work on a goal together. And that depends on what facet you're talking about and how you, you entertain that too. Like no judgment either way on anything. So take the energy as it resonates. The sun. It's what makes you happy, though. And this new moon that's happening today is about your happiness. What is your happiness? Have you thought about that? What's your happiness? What's your... What What are your values? What, what puts you in that high vibration? What puts a smile on your face? What makes you laugh like a little kid? Who makes you feel like that? What makes you feel like that? Move towards that. Go into that situation. Because the hard work that it takes to get there, or even maintain, is completely worth it if your heart is in it. Because you don't see it as work. You see it as a goal, as something that you want to obtain. It's like when you... Well, I mean, with any goal, if you have a goal that you are just like, I'm totally going to get this and you're so dedicated to get it and then you get it. And that feeling, that feeling that you get when you accomplish that goal that you've set for a while now, that's, that's the feeling that that's about. But I feel like someone feels like it's going to be burdens, nothing but burdens, because the energy might be extremely fast. This is a slow moving energy in reverse. It's, it's, it's extremely fast. It's beautiful though. I mean, to acknowledge that you want something and you want to defend it and you want to work towards it with someone or without someone. I mean, I see the two of cups as a union, but like I said, it could be a partnership. It could be a partnership within your feminine masculine of yourself. You just, you found your Zen within you so that you're a complete unison. So you don't need that two of cups. You know what I mean? You take energy how it resonates for you. Like I said, no judgment. I'm not challenging. King of swords. Someone honest, truthful, bold. Says what he means, means what he says. And this is healing. I feel like healing... I think 2021 learned, taught us a lot of lessons. And I think through the last half of 2021, a lot of us were healing. And I think 2022, we all feel this like surge of... We're ready for the new. We are healed. And healing is an everyday process, but we're healed enough to recognize and be able to communicate where our healing is needed and how, where our triggers are, you know, so, so that we can work together with people and not have fights and not argue and not bring drama and just say things and realize that things aren't personal. That things that people feel and that they express is their person. Even if they project it towards you, it is their issues. Not taking things over personally. And we have someone really working and focusing on their money. Someone, ooh, Ace of Cups. I was just going to say someone might be watching you. Ace of Cups means a new love offer, a new, a new, a brand new um, heartfelt situation. So there might be someone that's headed your way. I think that's freaking beautiful. I love it. <gasps> and then we got the Fool. Look at that. Taking a new chance, going for it, not being afraid of it, just jumping the fuck in. 
and being like, if I fail, I fail. I'll learn some lessons. I'll pick up where I'm at. I'm going to be further along than where I'm at. I know fucking that for sure. Like, I can't get farther behind from where I'm at. Even if I'm by myself, I know I can get farther than where I'm at right now. I I will get further because I'm by myself. Like, you ever have those moments? That's what this is. It's time to go do you and be you. That's what I say. Set your intentions tonight if you haven't. I did a live last night on how to manifest for the new moon. Um, you can follow that or just set your intentions as, as you play the, the video and then you'll... You can put your own intentions in your head and that works just the same. It's all about what are your thoughts? What do you want? What do you need and desire for this new year? And why do you need them? And if you need them... Can you be happy without them? And how do you be happy without them? And what new beginnings do you want for this new year? And what are you willing to shed in order to get those new beginnings? And how hard are you willing to work towards the goals that you set for yourself? All right, that's what I have for you. And if you need any information, down below. Peace, love, and light.